In this video, we are going to discuss the most common cause of spinal cord dysfunction and spinal cord injury. Cervical spondylotic myelopathy is the technical term, but it's basically arthritis in the neck leading to pressure on the spinal cord, and then over time, the repetitive microtrauma to the spinal cord causes spinal cord dysfunction. Myelopathy is common, and it's more common as we get older. So what are the symptoms? Well, patients can have numbness in their hands, weakness in their hands, difficulty with fine motor movements like buttoning a button, or with your handwriting, or eating a meal. Patients can also have difficulty with walking and their gait, feeling a little bit more clumsy and even having falls. On physical exam, we look for increased reflexes, weakness in the grip strength, and a couple of specific reflexes like a Hoffman sign, which is a pathologic reflex. On imaging, specifically MRI, we're looking for compression of the spinal cord. Sometimes we'll get CT scans, and it's always a good idea to consider getting x-rays. The most important thing when we think about cervical myelopathy is recognition. It's common, the symptoms come on gradually, and patients may not really know that they have it even though they're suffering from a gradual decline in spinal cord function. So as clinicians, we need to do a really good job of identifying patients with this issue. They need to have an appropriate history and physical examination, and then imaging is critically important. For patients with mild symptoms and mild compression of the spinal cord, observation is okay as long as we are really paying attention to the progression or lack thereof of symptoms. Sometimes patients will say, well, am I gonna fall and all of a sudden have a bad spinal cord injury? In, this, in the situation where there is mild symptoms and there is some pressure on the spinal cord, it is okay, according to the literature, to not jump to surgery. Physical therapy and other modalities can help strengthen the tissues. We wanna be really focused on bone health. If we go to surgery, bone health is critically important. For those patients with progressive symptoms, things that are getting worse, and, es and especially with severe spinal cord compression, surgery is advised. It's a surgical problem. There's a lot of different types of surgery for this, and the surgery needs to be tailored to the specific problem, the patient's age, the patient's comorbidities and other medical conditions, how invasive the surgery is, and we always are trying to do the surgery that will be the least invasive and address the problem. Surgeries can be motion preserving, such as disc replacement or laminoplasty or laminectomy. All are options in certain cases. Sometimes we'll do an anterior cervical fusion. Other times we'll do a posterior laminectomy infusion. And sometimes we'll do an anterior and a posterior surgery. Cervical myelopathy is common and the patients have symptoms, like I mentioned, such as numbness in their hands, difficulty with fine motor movements, trouble with their gait. There are certain things that we look for in physical exam. We get MRI scans, x-rays, and CTs. And then our job as clinicians is to really sit down with the patient and counsel them on the risks and benefits of surgical intervention. And uh, in some cases, we can monitor. And in some cases, surgery is advised. And again, there's lots of different options. Thank you.